All right, shalom, shalom. So, brother Daniel Allah, coming back again for another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha HaKodash. The born to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to the hopeful that brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. <clears throat> and uh, just another quick video uh, through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. As I'm on my way to the Shaddai, you know, uh, and you know, the time that we're in, you know, people have been deceived by this devil, his media, all right, and they're ignorant to the plans that he has, man. The masses of the people, let me say, because you know, you got some, some, uh, Jake that are in the know of what's going on. Right, but they don't have the the uh, the full truth of the you know of the scriptures. They don't you know they don't have the truth of the scriptures, right? From Jake to the CTs, you have lots of Edom Edomites. Well, <laughs> a lot of them know what's going on, man. You know who are so-called CT, right? There's different groups of them that know what their own people, the elites, are doing. A lot here what the elites are doing so you know but for the for the most part people don't have, have no idea of this devil's plans so when th different things come about in society you know different uh so-called national emergencies and different uh pestilences um that come about people go into a panic because they have no idea uh, what's going on. They think everything is uh, hunky-dory. <laughs> they think everything is going to be peaceful. There's nothing to worry about. This is why the scriptures refer to America as a, <clears throat> a uh, land without walls. Where people dwell there without care. You know, they think everything's cool. You know, but everything is not cool. So... This is Isaiah chapter, what's this, 60 and verse uh, 1. And the point is in 2. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is risen upon thee. Right? Now, who is that talking about? That's talking about Israel, man. Be more specific. The elect of Israel. When you read further down, it talks about how the Gentiles, which are the Israelite foreigners, will be joined unto us, right? Uh, yeah, and that's in, that's in verse 3, right? So the light, the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Bible, has been arisen upon us, man. And, we're, and then, no, we have the eyes out to see. The Lord has given us the light to see in this gross darkness, all right? that surrounded the masses of the people, right? And this is, uh, like it. this is uh, verse two, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness, the people, but the Lord, which is Yahweh, or by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee right and right now hey, the the wisdom you know is being seen upon the elect but the time's going to come where the the glory is going to be uh, uh, uh manifest physically man Right? Uh, uh, what, what is it? Um, uh, the uh, uh, New Jerusalem coming down from heaven as a bride adorned for our husband. Right? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. Right? The strangeness of their salvation. It's going to be a glorious thing. Right? gonna be a glorious thing but hey the lord has given us the knowledge 
and the ability to see in the darkness in these times. Right? So people people are in gross darkness, man. And this is why when the different events, these different events, uh, pro prophecies come to pass, people are going to be in a panic because they were not prepared spiritually and mentally for what's coming. Right? They were not prepared. They were in darkness. So they're going to be taken by surprise. While these things, we have a hopeful expectation of these different uh uh, plagues and, and uh, grim prophecies coming to pass, right? Because that's the beginning of our salvation, right? It says, uh, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to thy brightness, to the brightness of thy rising. It says, lift up thine eyes round about and see all they themselves gathered together. They come to thee. Thy sons come from far. And thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Right. So. Right. Like I said. The, the Gentiles that's going to come to the light is what? Israelites. The word Gentile means literally a foreigner. Right. And that's from the Latin, which is gen, uh, Gentilis, which means a foreigner, a stranger. Right. Uh, what is it? Uh. Isaiah 11 talks about what? The outcasts of Israel. The Israelites were scattered, man, in the, uh, amongst these other nations, man. Okay? That uh, the, didn't know that they were Israelites. And then the light, the, 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 the Holy Spirit woke them up to the truth. All right? Those are Israelites. That's, you know, whenever it says Gentiles, you can't always, you can't uh, assume that this is another nation. Right? Why would why would uh, uh, the Lord give any type of benefit concerning the promises or anything that's for Israel to a Gentile? Right? So let's go to the next one. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse. Uh, this is verse four. Let's start at. Uh, Verse one, right? And this is going into the elect, all right? The elect uh, men, all right? You know, the, the brothers out there and the few sisters that also believe, right? <clears throat> Are in the know of what's coming. It says, uh, Thess uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye, ye have not... You have not need that I write unto you. So he's writing this um, epistle, this letter to the Israelites in Thessalonica, uh, Greece, and saying, "Of the times that's coming, you don't need, you don't, I don't have to say anything unto you about that, right? Because you already know what's coming. You already know what to expect. So." Yep, you already know to it what to expect. Uh, two, verse two, it says, "For yourselves know perfectly, you got a perfect understanding of this thing, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night." You you know that the day of the Lord is gonna come unexpectedly. People are gonna be caught off guard, and that's gonna be the masses of these people. They're gonna be caught off guard. We're gonna be looking for it. All right, Lord, will we be of that number? All right, we're gonna be looking for it. We're gonna be hoping for it. We, we're going to be looking for it, man. <clears throat> come, uh, right? Uh, you know yourselves perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them and travail upon a woman as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right? We're not in darkness that that day should overtake us as a thief. So we, we will be caught off guard. No. We're going to be watching and we're going to be praying, as the Lord say. 
right? We're going to be watching and praying. We're going to be looking up to, to see uh, for our salvation draw us now. We're going to be looking for the day of the Lord to come, man. All right. We're going to be watching for everything that's leading up to it also. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and 11. Right. The Lord has given us to know, uh, has put us in the know of this devil's different plans, man. Cause it to leak out. Right. And it's out there. It's just people don't want to pay attention and they want to believe in the narrative that this devil's put out there. So no matter whether the truth is right in front of your face, if the Lord hasn't given you the spirit to see. Guess what? You're not going to see it. You're going to be in darkness. And you're going to be caught off guard. Catch by surprise. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 11 says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant, for we are not ignorant of his devices, his plans. Right? We know what his plans are. Right? Because his plans are the plans of the Most High. Right? Or let's say that the plan that he devised, he doesn't know that he is a part of the Most High's plan. He thinks he's going to achieve his goal but he's not. All right. He's going to fulfill prophecy and the Most High is going to achieve his goal, achieve his word, fulfill his word. Right. So he has this devil in the trick bag. Even this devil is in darkness concerning that man. Concerning that will of the Most High. Right. He knows certain things is about to happen. You know, the, 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 you know, and he thinks he can prevail against the Most High, but that's not going to be the case. So like here, you know, certain certain of these devils, they know that they're going to be overtaken, man, and they admit to it. Just like the situation with uh, uh, Balaam, right? He, the Lord showed him uh, visions of what our people was going to do to him, and that hey, we were going to triumph over uh, Moab. All right. Last one, it says, uh, 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right, now I got this because, like with anything, you have to try a person to see if they really about what they're saying, what they say they are, man. Right? In this society, you have... Um, like the scriptures say, two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon, right? So he seems, this devil seems to be peaceable, peaceful, but everything that he writes in his legislation by his authority is to further destroy you, all right? And to further enslave you, all right? And this is one thing the masses of the people, hey, don't understand. And they don't, they don't do. They don't try and see whether or not this devil's really telling the truth. They just believe what he says, you know, because he got a Ph.D. or a doctorate degree. They just believe what they say because they say it, man. All right. Or because they are rich and they have some type of accolades or or, or um, like I said, credentials. You know, but hey, a, a, a person who's wise and in the right state of mind. He's going to question everything to see whether or not it be true. Right? Because, hey, many, many false prophets has gone out, man. Even, you know, amongst the, the Israelite, uh, this Israelite thing of ours, you have many people who are false prophets, man. They're, and they're, they're, they're saying things that are contrary to the, to the scriptures. Okay. Ecclesiasticus chapter 13 and 23 it says when a rich man speaketh when this devil speaketh right he's the rich man every man holdeth his tongue and look what he saith everybody is quiet and they listen to what he's saying okay it says they extol it to the clouds but if a poor man speak they say what fellow is this and if he stumble they will help to overthrow him right so when a poor man speak they don't want to believe what he's saying, right? The, the, the wisdom of the poor man, right? And that would be us, all right? They don't want to hear what we're saying 
but they want to hear what this rich devil is saying who's been lying to you the whole time right and this is why a lot of people are going to be in straits when this thing goes down so lord will you edify with that and say call all y'all by shalom to the elect shalom